Hello, everybody. Welcome to this fourth day of 12 Days of Thomas. Today, we'll be looking at uh, the new, well, kind of new, Motorized Percy and Bruno pack. And, uh, yeah. So, the All Engines Go Motorized range, um, it just is kind of... Uh, not fantastic. Some of the, a lot of the models look kind of weird, and this isn't just like, ooh, all engines go bad point of view. It's just like, they just aren't as good looking, and it kind of swapped. Like CGI motorized, um, was getting better, and the push alongs were horrible, and now the motorized are pretty. Eh, and then the push-alongs are pretty fantastic. Um, yeah. So, let's start off with the not-star of the show, Percy. Um, yeah, he's got this face here. We just gotta, like, kind of look into his side. Here's the... Oh. Ooh. Here's the regular Percy. He's just kind of, like, shouting and screaming and happy. And this one's just more, like, content and happy. Like, you're supposed to, like, put him next to Bruno. They're, like, looking at each other. Yeah, honestly, I kind of like this face more. It's just more calm, it feels like. And speaking of this general area of the face, something with my Percy is... It, it just does that. It's it's not even fastened in place. Um, that that's not very good. What if what if I didn't get this? What if a a baby got this, and then shoved this down their throat? I will demonstrate. No, I will not. Um, yeah, that that would not be good at all. Um, so yeah, choking hazard right there. Now let's go over the truck. Um. The trucky truck. It, it, it's it's just this grayish blue truck with these stupid geared wheels and cargo. Yeah, that's it. Now let's get on to the star of the show. Bruno here. Um, One redeeming factor, at least in my personal opinion, of this Bruno over this Bruno. I actually kind of like the face on this one more. The printing's kind of bad on this one, but I feel like if the printing were clearer, I think I'd like it more than the face on this one. Um, yeah. So, yeah, let's just start off with the, I guess, front here, front, back. I guess whichever way is going to be pulled. Um, yeah, so right off the bat, you can notice some details that on the push along that aren't on the motorized. Um, it's got, like, you know, black in the door, and, um, buffer detailing. You might be thinking, oh, they didn't put black on the handrail. No, the handrail is, like, actually see-through. So it's kind of better on this one. Because it's, like, an actual rail. This one's just black. Um, sides here, both, you know, number 43. The printing on this one is way better. Well, actually, I don't, I'm not sure if this even is printing like it doesn't it doesn't look like printing this actually looks like it was painted on uh the face definitely looks printed but it doesn't have like the little lines in it so maybe this was painted um yeah this one's printed though and it's not very good quality um it's hard to notice on camera but like in person you can see, like, all the imperfections. Camera focus. Yeah. These windows here have more depth. Like, you can feel them. These ones are, you know, kind of flat. It's a motorized model. This little, uh... I guess smokestack. Because in the show, like, steam comes out of this. On the push-along Bruno, is like, further out from this, like... Top part here on the motorized ones, like right up against it. So it's something to note. They both have 
um, the little lamp. Uh, is it different? Looks about the same on both of them. Yeah, this one, the first one's got black buffer detailing. Motorized doesn't. And the, probably the most noticeable thing. One's got eight wheels, the other has four. Yeah. It looks kind of weird on the motorized Bruno. With the inaccurate wheel arrangement. Like, yeah, the pushalongs don't always have the accurate real wheel arrangements either. But based on all engines go, he's only missing one set of wheels back here for Gordon. So, yeah. But, like, the point of motorized has never really been to get the wheel arrangements right. But, like, look at Hector. And, you know... Maybe they could have done that? Just maybe? So yeah, here's this choking hazard of a pack. All together. I hope you guys enjoyed. And I don't want you to think this review is negative. This really is a pretty nice pack. Um, you know. Th this is hilarious. I may not be laughing, but trust me, I'm laughing. Merry Christmas!